Alright, this is a video on how to record your television so that you can get high quality video just like me. Whee! Alright, this is what you need. First, you need to buy this thing. It's called a Dazzle DVD recorder and as you can see, you got my video input and two audio inputs and connects via USB to your computer. And then you need this cable, RCA cable with yellow, red and white endings. And finally, you need three RCA splitters. Um, these splitters come in different sizes and different forms and everything, but all you want is a splitter that can split your signal. And if you can see, these parts can go together and you can plug it into your RCA cables just to split the signal. Alright, and of course you need your gaming console if you're gonna record games. You can do it this with any console that supports SCART and an RCA connection because you cannot do this with HDMI. It only supports that RCA. So you gotta use your RCA on your old TV or your HD TV. But then, of course, you won't get high def. Alright. Alright. Now, when you get your Dazzle DVD recorder, um, you're gonna want to install the program program software that came with it, because you'll need it to record uh, later. <coughs> so just, yeah, it's gonna look a bit different when you first install it, but it's just the same as mine. All right. Um, so let's plug this together. We're gonna start by taking the RCA splitters, and basically what you're going to do is to split the signal at your PS, PS, PS3 or Xbox 360 or Wii or PS2 or any gaming console sends out. Uh, and I'm gonna start by replacing the the inputs here on your TV with the splitters and you gotta remember what color you're putting in putting them into because when you got this first one that's the yellow one you're gonna need to find your yellow yellow uh, yellow RCA cable from your console and plug it in. So now the TV got the video, the video showing. <clears throat> and next we're gonna take the white one and put the white one from the PS3 in, and finally the red cable. should look something like this. Um, you got RCA, yellow, white and red. This first one is the yellow, goes into the yellow and leaves one open. And the white one goes into the white one, 
and got one spot open. And also, finally, the red into the red and leaving one spot open for your RCA cable. <coughs> Alright. So let's get the RCA cable. Here's my RCA cable and plug the, the red one into the red one and the yellow one into the yellow and finally the white into the white. Now it looks something like this. The right cords are to the piece tree and left to the tassel or to your RCA cable and they all go into your TV scart alright now you got this cable open and you're putting it into your Dazzle DVD recorder and it's the same thing as before red into red, yellow to yellow and white to white So now, what you gotta do is take your USB plug and plug it into your computer. Alright, so now you open your DVD recorder program and it's going to look a little bit different like uh, from mine. But it's the same steps. So first you choose your cam and you you choose Dazzle DVD recorder or DVD recorder, whatever it's called. And if it shows up and you're hearing the sound from your TV, it means that you wired it correctly. And if not, then you should go back and try plugging it in again. Alright, and when you choose your DVD burner you gotta select a folder and not uh, a DVD burner, but a folder. Save it to your desktop or, or whatever. I've already saved something to my desktop, so I couldn't do that. So I'm just going to save it to another folder now. And next step, DVD menus. No, you don't want want any of that. So just click now. And final step to select your quality just select best I'm always recording with the best quality and hit OK so once you've done that and once you've completed your recording you might want to edit it because you're gonna get a weird file out of your recording so you gotta import it into, into Windows Movie Maker which I'm assuming you're using I'm using my Mac to edit videos, but I'm just gonna go through how to use Windows Movie Maker in this video. So you gotta click File, Import, Medium, or whatever, and this one is important, select All Files down here, All Files. When you've selected All Files, you go into that folder where you saved your video, and you gotta select the biggest file often named something like that and hit import now it's going to import um, there it's done now you can 
drag it down to your timeline and play it back turn up, turn up the volume and as you can see everything is working perfectly you got great quality video and of course you can save it as a Windows Movie Maker file and upload it to YouTube with high quality so hope you do that see ya